Hi guys, this is Mark Davis, Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In this video, I'm going to take a look at using Excel's in per function to calculate the number of periods in a, in a financial um, problem. Um, this is the fourth of my sequence of various Microsoft Excel financial functions. Uh, previous functions that I've had a look at uh, the future value function, the present value function, the payment function, and this is, I say, the fourth, the uh, n per the number of periods function. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos, um, do check them out. Um, search Optimum Technology Transfer here on YouTube. So this is the financial problem. Let me just zoom in. Um, I'm going to be borrowing 150, I beg your pardon, 15,000 pounds um, at an interest rate of 2.5%. I can afford to pay for each period uh, 150 pounds, dollars, euros, whatever you decide. Um, so basically, what I would like to know is how long it would take me to pay off this particular loan at this particular interest rate if I can afford this much. Well, apparently, this is actually a monthly payment, so we're working with months here, um, 112 and a quarter uh, months. That's how long it'll take me to pay off this loan at this annual interest rate. We'll talk about that shortly, if I can afford to pay back £150 per month. So, how does it all work? Well, let's start from scratch. Let me just delete that. Equals N per, press tab. As I've indicated in previous videos, always a good idea, if you're never quite sure about a particular function, you can always gain a little bit of an insight by pressing at this particular point, Shift and F3. And what Excel will do is it will give you the function arguments dialog box. And as I say, you get a bit of an insight. So there, there's a uh, uh, description, if you like, of the actual function itself. And as you click or tab through the various arguments or parameters, um, that particular description changes as well. So. This particular function, the n per function, returns the number of periods for an investment based upon periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. And I've got those two arguments here. I want to borrow this much. Let me just cancel on that for the moment. Let's begin it again. So equals n per tab. The rate, now I did mention earlier on, this is an annual interest rate, so I'm going to divide by 12, because ultimately, well, the payment is all about a monthly repayment, and uh, the number of periods ultimately will end up being how many months. Yeah, Comma separator, there is the payment that I can afford each and every month. Comma separator, the present value, effectively how much I'm borrowing, um, in this particular case, cell C7, for example. going to leave out the two... Um, optional arguments, just put turn uh, or enter uh, on that, and apparently, um, what is that in years? Well, eight years, nine years, something like that, for example. So that's how long it would take me to pay off this particular loan at this annual interest rate if I can afford £150 per month. That's the NPER function, another one of the, uh, the popular Excel financial functions. That's it from me, guys. Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. I'm going to upload uh, several more financial functions in the future. If you haven't seen my previous ones, as I say, do check out, do search Optimum Technology Transfer here on YouTube. I'm going to F2 on that cell, that formula. Leave that with you guys, an illustration and a video describing the NPER function in Microsoft Excel. That's it from me, Mark, Mark Davis, here at Optimum Technology Transfer. Take care and bye-bye.